Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to the channel. If you have not been here before, my name is Jeannie. I'm really glad you decided to stop in. My voice is a little raspy. Uh, it is what it is. <clears throat> I did a lot of screaming the other night when our Detroit Lions, I am from Michigan, uh, played a very important game. It was sad, but I'm super proud of them for making it as far as they did. But because of my screaming during the game, my voice is a little raspy still. Now, for today's video, you guys, I got my package from Ipsy for the month of February. <clears throat> By the way, it's crazy that we're moving into February already. I hope that everybody is having a fabulous start to 2024 and uh, a lot of changes here in my house so far this year. But that's for another video. Anyhow, so today, February is a very exciting month in terms of Ipsy because it is an icon box month. So that means um, you are able to get the OG Glam Bag, which uh, has been around forever. Then you're able to get the Boxy by Ipsy, which is the old Boxy charm. Um, now under Ipsy and then also the icon box. So the icon box is the quarterly box. It's got a curator. This time around it was Gwen Stefani. Uh, and yeah, so it's always exciting on icon box months. I do have each tier uh, with me here today and we're going to unbox everything and kind of see what we are working with for February. Now I do have to mention that these all of the items that you're going to see in this video today are sent over in PR so they're sent free for me to share and review. I do also receive my own paid for packages sometimes uh just depends sometimes i skip a month sometimes i get them i usually do get them on icon box months and i do plan on getting my own paid for icon box later in the month as well so that being said let's just dive on in and see what we're looking uh what we're looking like in terms of ipsy for the month of february the first box that i'm going to grab just because they're all sitting right here and it's the first one up is the boxy charm by ipsy this is going to be five full-size beauty products um it's around 30 dollars now and uh yeah let's jump on in i have not seen a ton of spoilers for this month mostly because I have not been looking for them. I have been very busy. Uh, but so everything is going to be a surprise. I know there is one spoiler in particular for the Icon box that I'm pretty excited for. Um, and that is by Charlotte Tilbury and it's the Beautiful Skin Foundation. I'm pretty excited. I haven't tried that one. So I'm hoping it will be a choice for me on choice day. Now, when it comes to the Boxy by Ipsy, choice day is the first of the month through the third. That is where you will be able to log into your account and pick your choices for that month. All right, let's see what we got. First up, we got something by Grown Alchemist. This is a high-end skincare brand, and this is the Skin Renewal Day Cream. I've tried quite a few different products from this brand in the past. I have enjoyed the things that I have tried. The packaging is kind of like a green, which is cute. Um, I will say for the specific products that I have tried from this brand, they are very thick and heavy, at least the ones that I have tried. So just something to think about if you are on the oilier side or acne prone. I know that these products have worked really well for me because I am dry. So just something to keep in mind. Always do your research on uh, new skincare products before you dive right in would be my best advice. But I am happy with that because like I said, the things that I've tried from the brand so far have worked really well for me. All right, next up, it looks like we got something from Eloise Beauty. It's an Ultra Glow Lip Oil. It looks like it's going to be in the shade Ruby. So let's open it up and take a look. So there's little pieces of tape on both sides of the box here, which is nice. You know that it is not tampered with, but I'm going to slit one side open here so that we can check out the packaging and the color and the smell. <laughs> All right, so kind of looks like a, a lip jelly. Cute but basic packaging. 
I'm all about, oh, it smells, oh, I just literally put it up my nose. Okay, it smells like watermelon E. Let's give her a little swatch. Okay, so I'm not getting much color from it, maybe like a tiny little tint, but it does look like it's very hydrating. It also feels like an oil and non-sticky. So I am in Michigan and we are in the dead of winter. It is snowy, it is cold, and I will take all of the hydration that I can get. So I'm happy with that. It's definitely something that I will use. Next up from Luna Magic, we got a brush set. Let's open it up. Okay, so within the package, they are kind of like packaged again. Okay, I do like the aesthetic of it. Uh, cute pink. I love whenever the brushes like are thicker and go to like a, a thin tip. I just like the way that feels in my hand. Um, so I love these angled brushes. I do use these when I am contouring. Uh, and I feel like you can never have too many brushes. I have a ton, but I do love receiving them and I'm always excited to get more. These feel nice, they feel soft. I've definitely uh, had softer, but they don't feel bad. So I'm excited for that. Next up from In Beauty Project, we got a Keep It Clean Hydrating Gel Cleanser. It says washes away makeup, dirt, and debris without stripping the skin. Well, that is right up my alley. I've already mentioned before that I am dry. So I typically like cleansing balms and cleansing oils. Um, this says it is a hydrating gel cleanser. So that is going to be the packaging that we have on that. It is quite a bit of product. and I'm always happy uh, to receive something that is geared towards my dry skin. So that is exciting. We'll definitely try that. And then last but not least for the Boxy Charm by Ipsy, it looks like we got an eyeshadow palette. This is going to be from Ace Beauté, and it is their Mystic Romance palette, which is right up the alley for Valentine's Day, of course. And it does come with a nice mirror. And these are the shades that we receive in this palette. Now, looking at the palette, it definitely does look like um, a palette that could be used for very cute Valentine's Day uh, eye makeup looks. So I'm definitely excited to give this palette a try. I'll have to come back and just take a few products from each of the boxes that we go through today and uh, kind of create a, a Valentine's Day ipsy makeup look so we will definitely do that but i'm excited i have really enjoyed the quality of ace Beauté eyeshadow palettes in the past they also did send it in a uh its own little bubble wrap we have seen issues with shipping before and broken products and broken palettes and that's always a bummer so i'm glad to see that they are packaging things uh nicely that is always a plus. Okay, so to me, that's a good, that's a good box. I'm I'm happy with that. If I paid for that, I would be happy with that. Now remember, I don't get to pick any of these products that I get because these ones are sent in PR. Now, if this would be a paid for box, like you paid for it or I paid for it, uh, they would be picking two products and then you would be picking three. So you have a little bit more say in the products that you're going to receive, which is nice. All right, next, let's move on to the icon box. I know everybody is excited to see what we're getting for February icon. All right. Um, the icon boxes kind of come with like a little news pamphlet 
again, Gwen Stefani is the curator. And it just kind of says about, it lets you know the products that you could be receiving in your lineup for choice and also the power picks. Um, so yeah, they're, we're not going to spend too much time on that. We're just going to get on in to what we got. Okay, first up. Looks like I got a little package of stuff here. Oh, I see. Okay, so it is going to be the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Freeze. This is a clear styling wax from Anastasia, and it also does come with a nice brow brush, also from Anastasia, I believe. Yes, so these are both from Anastasia. I do like the fact that they're giving you kind of like a twofer. This, these two products together are considered one of your products for this box, so that is nice. Um, when it comes to clear brow products, I uh, have really sparse, light colored brows naturally, so it's it's just really not going to do much for me, but I know a lot of people really love this product. So I will pass this on to somebody that I know will get use out of it instead of me, you know, there, there's not, there's just nothing I, I can personally do with this product, but a good product to get. And then again, you're getting the two for one. So that is great. All right, next up, we got a Sashwan, um heat protectant hair cream. All right. I actually just re got touched up my uh, blonde. Well, went to get my blonde retouched up. I have been uh, like getting my hair lightened my whole life, probably since I was about like 14, 15. I've been doing highlights and then kind of transitioned into more of like a more blonde than anything else. So I do deal with a lot of breakage and damage to my hair. So I'm always happy to try new heat protectant products. Um, so this is definitely something that I'm happy to try. Next up, this says uh, Mason Louise Marie, number 13, Novel Vague. Okay, so it's giving some scent notes. So this must be a perfume of some sort. It says up top, you're going to get Marga, coconut waters, and lemon. The mid scents you're going to get is Tuscan fig, tonka, and aguava. And then the base is going to be amber, natural, and okay, I can't even see it. It's really small and it's hard for me to read, but let's just check it out. So this is what the product looks like. Seems kind of small. Ooh, okay. So this is a perfume oil. That's that's probably why it's smaller. Okay, it smells, it is giving beautiful summer day. It is getting, it is like giving, like I'm going to the beach, that coconut water. Um, yes, 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 yes. It's also not overpowering, but not too light. Like she's there. You can smell that, but it's not like overpowering either. I actually really, really like this, uh, on first, um, you know, for my initial response to this product is I really, really like this. It smells delicious. Ooh. Okay. Yes. I really like that. Okay, cool. Um, next up, it looks like we got something from KVD Beauty. This is called Full Sleeve, and I'm thinking it's a mascara. It's in the shade Ink Black, so it is most likely a mascara. It does have some cute packaging. Ooh, okay, the wand is like so. I actually, um, about three weeks ago, went through my mascara drawer. I had probably 300 mascaras just thrown in there. And I thought, what a shame, because so many of them I had gotten from subscription boxes and they opened it to check it out, but I already had other mascaras that I was using at the time. And by the time I went to like 
go through that drawer, I had to throw out three quarters of them because they were dried out, um, even though I might have used them once or twice. So I really want to try and make it a point to use, <laughs> use the mascaras that I have because it was a huge bag of just essentially wasted mascara. So that is a New Year's resolution. I want to try and use the products that I that I have. So this is not one that I've tried. Um, the wand looks interesting. Uh, when for me, when it comes to mascara, I am all about like the fanned out look. I want separation. Um, I want length, and I want a little bit of volume too. I want it all. So we'll see. I'm excited to give it a try. Next up from a skincare brand that I really love. This is Ren Skincare and this is the Glycolic Lacted Radiance Renewal Mask with AHA. So it's basically a glycolic acid. Glycolic acid is a great ingredient if you are somebody that is just getting into skincare or um, like liquid exfoliants. It is definitely on the gentler side, um, but still definitely does a fabulous job as a uh, skincare ingredient, one that I really do like. So uh, this is, again, not a product that I have tried. Um, so I am definitely excited for that. All right, next up, something from Give Beauty, which is Gwen Stefani's line. I knew we were going, oh, okay. So I, I literally just had to stop myself. I was going to say, I knew we were going to get a a bright red bullet lip because that's kind of like Gwen Stefani's signature lip. But um, I did not get bright red, which I am thrilled about. There's a place and a time for a good red lip, but that most of the time my red lips that I get out of subscription boxes, I might try them once or twice, but they end up sitting on a shelf until they get thrown away. It's just not uh, my go-to, but I got a color that looks like I would actually use it on a day-to-day. I have not tried the formula of this lipstick. In fact, I don't know if I've really tried anything from the brand. So I, I'm excited to try it. The packaging is cute. Um, There is what it looks like. And that is the color that I got. So it's kind of like a mid-tone nudie pink shade, which I'm all about. I do assume that uh, within this product, there will be different colors given out to different boxes. So just keep that in mind. Next up, another product from Give Beauty. I'm assuming this is a liner. Let's see what we got here. Okay, so we got an eyeliner in the shade blue. Wow, I could have used this for the Detroit Lions game that I mentioned in the beginning of the video. I do not like uh, like blue eyeshadow and it's just, it's great for other people, but for some reason on me, I feel like every time I try and pull off like a blue shadow look, it just looks trashy on me for whatever reason. I don't know. Some people pull it off beautifully. Um, but I did not care. The Detroit Lions were, this game was, if they, if they were going to win this game, they were going to the Super Bowl for the first time ever. It was so exciting. Um, and I was working the game that night. I am a restaurant manager. And, uh, so, you know, I wanted, I had my Lions gear on and I did a full blue, eyeshadow look this would have been perfect to go with that look so a little too late but definitely excited to uh get a liner outside of the color of black it's always nice to get you know something a little bit different so i'm excited to try that and then last but not least for the icon box we got a dominique cosmetics eyeshadow palette this is the Essentials palette. I do really like the formula of her matte shades. Um, I think the shimmer shades are nice too. I'm kind of like having a hard time remembering uh, specifically the shimmers, but I do know that I have a palette from her that is an all matte palette that I have had for at least a year or two and I still reach, uh, more than a year, it probably two or three years. And I still reach for it from time to time. The mattes just blend out so 
effortlessly. Now, this is the color story on the Essentials palette. It is very beautiful, everyday tones. You also have some darker tones in there to kind of transition from a day look to a nighttime look as well, which I always love that because you can kind of create the whole look without having to reach for multiple palettes. So yeah, that is a beautiful palette in my opinion. I already know that I do enjoy the formula of Dominique's uh, eyeshadow palettes. So exciting. That is it. Uh, you guys, that I can smell that perfume oil. Like every time I move my hand past my face, I get a huge whiff of it. It smells amazing. Like I am, this might be, I am super excited for this. I'm also really excited for the heat protectant, uh, the eyeshadow palette. The, I'm excited for, I, I think the only thing in this entire box that uh, just doesn't have me like super excited would be the Anastasio Brow Freeze, but that's only because I, it's not something that I can use. The brush, I'd be excited to have a new, um, you know, brow brush, but yeah, that's a good box. Now, for my paid for, I'm definitely hoping for the Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin Foundation. I'm assuming that they didn't send it to, um, to us in the PR packages is because trying to go through and, and get everybody's, uh, shade match would just take way too long. So I understand why it's not in the PR packages, but I'm definitely hoping that it will be a choice for me on choice day. All right, last but not least, let's get into the OG Glam Bag. This is where you're going to get five products, mostly deluxe size samples, although you do get full size products in here as well. Um, this is around $14, $15, and choice for this has already happened for the month of February. Choice for this bag happens around the 20th to the 22nd of the month before. So around January 20 through the 23rd or something like that, you would have went in and made your choice for your bag for the month of February. But let's see what we got. So there are a couple products that are outside of the bag. Now with this one, you do get little... Um, bags. This one is absolutely adorable for like the Valentine's Day. It's kind of got like a textured finish, but a silky feel. It's got an ultra cute little zipper. And it is lined with this pretty green lining. Let's start with the products that are outside of the bag. Uh, we got the Wander Beauty baggage claim gold eye masks these are great eye masks i think we all have tried them at some point these are ones that i really enjoy i don't think that i have any of these in my collection at the moment these specific ones so i'm glad to have a few and you do get two sets in the box so very cool that's a great start for the glam bag moving along it looks like we got an eyeshadow palette from Pear Nova. Pear Nova is not a brand that I am familiar with, but we did get a palette from them. Okay, very cool. Um, again, it's definitely giving like, I mean, like it's easy to say, oh, it's giving Valentine's because it's got like pink and purple. Well, like a lot of eyeshadow palettes have those colors, but this could definitely be used to create a very pretty Valentine's Day look as well. So, okay, not mad at it. Let's get into the stuff that's in the box, into the bag. Uh, next, by Mo Beauty, we got the Set It Up Setting Spray. Um... This is definitely like a mini size, but there is a decent amount of product in there. It's actually filled all the way to the top right here. And then this part is the cap. But for a setting spray, that is a lot of product. You'll definitely have a good um, understanding of whether or not you would want to purchase a full size of this by the time you're done with it. I mean, that would last a good amount for a setting spray. So nice. I 
personally don't use a whole lot of setting spray. So this might be something that like I pass on to somebody else that would get better use out of it. But um, a nice thing to have in the bag. Next from Sonage, we got another um, sample size product. And this is going to be the Saffron Energizing Vitamin Mask. It says it hydrates and firms the skin. So we got a mask from Sonage, a face mask. And then, whoops, last but not least, this is going to be another... Um, kind of like mini size product. This is from Rare Beauty and it is Perfect Strokes Universal Volumizing Mascara. Very kind of basic Rare Beauty packaging, but also nice. Okay, that is what the wand looks like on that. This is not one that I've tried. I do love getting the smaller mascaras to toss in my purse and my bag for on the go. So um, yeah, and then I've never tried the mascara from Rare Beauty or the mascara from KVD. So uh, excited to have two new mascaras to try. Okay, so let's think about this as a whole. The Glam Bag, the Icon Box, and the Boxy by Ipsy. One thing that comes to mind right away, I think it's pretty exciting that if you're only getting one of these, uh, you have an opportunity to get an eyeshadow palette in every tier, including the Glam Bag. So we got the Pear Nova in the Glam Bag. We got the Dominique Cosmetics in the Icon Box. And then we got the Ace Beauté in the Boxyterm Box. So I think that's really cool. And then all in all, I think it was a really good mix. It definitely was not that uh, super skincare heavy or super makeup heavy. Um, I feel like it was a good mix. We got some tools. We got some hair products. We got some fragrance. We got so we got eyeshadow palettes. We got skincare. We got it all. So to me, that is a win. This is a good month to me. February looks like a good month, and I'm super excited to see my choices on Choice Day for the Icon Box. Uh, let me know down below what you guys think of these products and uh, what you're hoping to see. Uh, in your lineup for choices on choice day. Don't forget if you are paying for an icon box to log into your account on the first through the third to pick your products because if you don't pick then Ipsy will pick everything for you and you want to be able to get your choices in. All right guys that's going to be it for today. I hope everybody has a fabulous rest of the week and I will pick a handful of products from each of these tiers and do a very Valentine's Day Ipsy look. So keep your eye out for that. Until then, stay safe, stay beautiful, and I will see you in my next one. Bye.